Hello everyone. Welcome to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. In the previous lecture in this series, which is system value of OOPs, we had seen why do we need OOPs. The reason why it was introduced in system very log. If you missed that lecture, please go through that first. Then come to this lecture where we will learn about different OOPs terminology. The first terminology is class. As we had seen in the previous lecture, class is something which has data types and the functions which operate on that data type club together. In simple words, that is class. Data types and functions which work on those data types club together. The second oops terminology is object. Object is nothing but just an instance of that class. Third terminology is handle. You can consider handle as pointer to an object. In simple words, you can think of handle as an address to your object. If you know the address, you can reach the object. The next terminology is property or you can call it as variable. These are different data types which are present inside your class. Then we have routine or method. These can be some functions or a, a task that will operate on the data types which are present in your class. These methods can be in the form of function or a task. Then we have prototype. Prototype means it's just a skeleton of your routine. It will just have name of your routine, the type of your routine. Type means the data type which it returns and it will also contain the list of arguments. Prototype is just a skeleton of method which will contain name of your method, the list of arguments and the type of your method. In case you know that you are going to have a method but right now you don't know how you are going to code the functionality, in such cases you can first declare the prototype of that method so that when you use the name of that method you don't get any compilation error. It recognizes that there is going to be a method with this name, this return type and this will be the list of arguments. That's why you, we use prototype. Now let us understand these OOPs terminologies with some real life examples because with analogy it is very easy to understand this OOPs concept and my job is to make OOPs very easy for you. Now consider that I have a class called car. I am creating an object of this car which is my car. Then I have created a handle of this car which is C1. As we said handle is like an address. So you can consider that handle is like the location of car. When you know the location of the car you can locate the object of that car which is my car. When you know where this my car is located you can go and reach there. Then we have property or variable. In your car, you can have lot of variables like tire, seat, engine, airbag. These are just some examples which I gave you. Car has lots of parts which can be considered as its property or variable. Then we have some routines which will operate on these variables. Let me give you one simple example. Deploy airbag. So whenever there is a safety hazard, say the car meets with an accident. So as a safety feature, your airbag will be deployed. This is a method, a function inside the car to deploy your airbag. I hope with this example of car, your understanding of various OOPs terminologies is clear. In the upcoming lectures, we will learn more about OOPs concept in detail with a lot of coding examples. To stay tuned, please subscribe to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Thank you.